What's up, guys? Riley Wynn with Digital Trends. We're here at opening night of Super Bowl 54 down in South Beach, Miami. A lot of people here were asking the players about sports, but we fought through the crowds to ask them about tech. Here's what they had to say. Uh, I think I just look at kind of what, what, whatever I see as far as like when I like look at my verified Twitter thing, and I try to stay away from the, the bad as much as possible, but you understand what social media is, and so uh, I just try to stay positive, and that's the kind of person I am. Uh, you know, you hear about it from time to time. Uh, friends or family might tell me something, but uh, at the end of the day, you got to remember who's saying the stuff and just, uh, you know, take that into consideration. Uh, you know, that, that's the thing. Um, throughout, the, th throughout the season, I try to not pay attention to the, you know, when we're doing, to, when I'm doing good or doing bad, I try not to look at social media because, I mean, as a player, it's, you know, majority of the game is mental and you don't, you don't want any of those distractions or, you know, anybody, you know, outside of the fact of your immediate family or anybody tell you like, you know, oh, you're terrible or, or you're doing good or all this kind of stuff. I kind of try to stay even killed throughout the season to keep my head down and try to, you know, take it one day at a time. In the off season, do you have a good social media presence? You like getting a on better, in the off season? I have a better social media presence for sure. My, my wife's been getting on me about social media, so I got to do a better job with it. <laughs> so much. So I read every comment. <laughs> yes. I'm okay with that. I got no issues with that. That's a good one. I've kind of gotten off that. Um, I don't really look at mentions anymore and all that stuff. I still go on Instagram, um, but I'm, I'm off Twitter. I don't pay attention to any of that stuff, man. Because like, I feel like social media can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing, especially for like emotional wellness, like people who go through mental, mental health things. Like, if you're the type of person who get on social media and you see the likes and you see all the good stuff, that stuff can go that stuff can go to your head quickly. And I feel like nobody on this team, anybody, any of us, will never let that affect any of us, you know? So, if you're seeing the bad stuff, you can get down on yourself and you can start feeling sorry for yourself. So, I don't look at any of that stuff, man. The followers, the likes, that don't mean nothing to me, bro. Like, I can post a picture and I can get two likes. As long as I see me, me and my, my teammates or me and my family on there smiling, having a good time, that's all I care about. I haven't played video games all season, but uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a big Call of Duty guy, so uh, whenever the season's over, I might hop on that. And I'm, I know I'm going to be a little late, but uh, maybe they'll, they'll have a kind of a, a battle royale by then, so I'll be able to hop in that. Rocket League and Call of Duty, big time. Favorite video game? I don't know, man. I've been going, I've been going back and forth, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I was on the little, I was on PUBG. You know, back back when it was out for a while, got into Fortnite, uh, obviously Call of Duty, um, you know, it's pretty much the shoot 'em up games. So, what's your favorite Battle Royale? Battle Royale. PUBG, Fortnite. You know, Fortnite is like fun, you know, and, and they, you know, and all that, but like, I'm a more, I like realistic kind of, so I'd say PUBG. Uh, I play Rocket League and I play PUBG. Uh, he he, kind of, he made the switch to PC, so he kind of left me in the dust. I, I'm still on Xbox. I, mean, I think it's uh, it's given a more uh, truer lens for the uh, for the viewers to see what's really going down on the field. Not only the viewers, but uh, the officials to be able to get the calls right. Man, it's out of my control. You know, at the end of the day, whatever they want. You think it's good for the game or bad for the game? It doesn't matter because it's working on both sides, so it's fair for both. You want to always make sure you get the call right and all that stuff. Um, there are some things I think you know, don't need to be replayed and all that stuff, but it is what it is, and you just got to evolve with the game. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I, I've never been in that situation because when the ball thrown my way, I'm going to get it no matter what, you know? So I'm good. As long as that, some technology can have me score three touchdowns and get 200 yards, I don't mind. What's my favorite Patrick Mahomes moment? Probably uh, when he comes in the, in the huddle and he sounds like a frog. That's probably my favorite moment. I crack up every time, just like it's the first time. You want to hear it? Do it, do it right, do it right. Uh, yeah, Kermit the Frog sounds just like that. I I can't do that no more because he ain't, look, he, he ain't going to throw me the ball no more. Well, opening night is a wrap. We had a lot of fun, got a lot of fun interviews with the players. We have a lot more coverage coming throughout the week at digitaltrends.com. Also on Digital Trends Live, we'll have more interviews with players, some really cool behind the scenes features. So if you want to watch those, you want to see those, tune in. Until